Hello everyone, this is Sean Heather and in this video we are going to do a gaming performance test of Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6 by playing few of the most high and heavy graphics game on the highest possible graphics setting. We will also monitor the battery performance and whether we are going to face any heating issue or not. But before we start, if you are new to this channel, then do not forget to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get the notification for future uploads. So to play all of these games, we have set the screen refresh rate to adaptive that is 120Hz, the power saving mode is turned off and in the game booster setting, we have selected the performance mode to get the best performance out of the device. Here at the top left corner, you will find the FPS meter that will show how much FPS is being generated while we are playing all of these games on our device. And right now the battery percentage is 77. So these are the games we got today here on our Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. So first of all, let's start with Injustice 2. So we can play all of these games either on the primary screen or on the cover screen. I'm going to play all of these games on the primary screen because this is the whole purpose of having a foldable smartphone to play all of these games on the bigger screen to enjoy the content in a bigger layout. The only drawback here is that if you're using the primary screen to play the games then some of the games are not fully compatible with this aspect ratio and they will be stressed and if you're playing them on the cover screen then once again not all games are compatible with this aspect ratio and you will get these black bars so it's totally up to you whether you would like to go with these black bars or you will prefer to get the stretched version of your game if i'm playing games like asphalt 9 or injustice 2 i will prefer the primary screen but if you're playing fps games like pubg mobile or call of duty mobile then it's better to play them on the cover screen because then the field of view will be reduced and you might get a bit difficulty while playing those games on the primary screen so here in the FPS meter you can see that we are getting 121 FPS and as you can see the game is stressed a bit on the sides but we are getting a bit more view at the top and the bottom. The graphics quality is brilliant, the great amount of details we are getting and the gameplay is super smooth as we are getting around 110 FPS constantly. So the touch screen sensitivity is nice as well. So everything was nice and smooth while playing 
Injustice 2 on Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6 and as you can see we were getting around 115 to 120 fps most of the time. Gameplay was super smooth with great graphics quality. So let's close Injustice 2. Now let's play Call of Duty Mobile. So here in the graphics setting of Call of Duty Mobile you can see by default very high is selected for graphics max for the frame rate. I can select max graphics quality with max frame rate. If I am selecting Ultra, then the graphics quality is going to medium. So I am going to play the game on max graphics quality with max frame rate and let's see how much FPS we are going to get because this is the maximum possible combination of the graphics and the frame rate. Because if we select the Ultra mode, then the graphics quality will be medium only. And here in the download manager, you can see that we have selected the HD resource pack to get the best graphics quality. Enemy contact. So here in the FPS metric you can see that we are getting 60 FPS. Kill confirmed. A slight lagging happened once. We are constantly getting 60 FPS, there is no frame drop or lagging. The graphics quality is brilliant as you can see we are getting great amount of details in everything. So everything was nice and smooth while playing Call of Duty Mobile on Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6 and we were getting 60 FPS constantly with great graphics quality. Just one slight lagging happened once. Now I'm going to select the ultra frame rate mode with medium graphics and let's see whether we are going to get 120 FPS or not. So now here in the FPS meter you can see we are getting 120 FPS. Graphics quality is reduced a bit but again not too much. Gameplay is way smoother now as you can see 110 112 FPS Graphics quality is still pretty solid as you can see we are getting great amount of details and everything So I'm just gonna leave it here because I just wanted to give you an idea that how much FPS we are going to get in the ultra mode and if you select the max graphics quality with max frame rate then you will get around 60 fps so now let's play asphalt legend so here in the graphic setting of asphalt legends you can see we have selected the 60 fps that's the maximum possible fps available so let's play the game and let's see how good the game is going to be so here you can see that we are getting 60 fps the graphics quality is really and super impressive as you can see we are getting great amount of details in everything And we are constantly getting 61 FPS. Graphics quality is really impressive.
So everything was nice and smooth while playing Sparge Legends on Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. Graphics quality was brilliant and we were constantly getting 60 FPS. And now let's play the last game for today and that's PUBG Mobile. So here in the graphics setting of PUBG Mobile you can see by default HD is selected for graphics high for the frame rate. I can select SDR, I can select Ultra SDR but once I am selecting Ultra SDR then the extreme frame rate option is getting disabled, extreme SDR is not available. So the maximum possible graphics combo is Ultra SDR with Ultra or SDR with extreme. So I am going to play the game on both of these settings. First with Ultra HDR with Ultra and then HDR with Extreme to see how much FPS we are going to get in both of these modes. So as you can see we are getting 40 FPS here. So as you can see we are getting 41 fps constantly the graphics quality is brilliant we are getting lots of details if you have a look on the costume of the character how much detail we are getting in terms of texture and everything it's really good So I am on fire. I need a stock. Mark the location. Mark the location. So as you can see we are getting 40 FPS and the graphics quality is brilliant. If you have a look on the trunk of the tree, you can see how much detail we are getting. It's very impressive.
So once again, as you can see, the graphics quality is brilliant. We are getting 41 FPS constantly at the maximum possible graphics and FPS combo. So I'm just going to leave it here and I will change the graphics setting and we will see whether we are going to get better FPS or not. And if I'm going to the smooth graphics quality, then Extreme Plus and Ultra Extreme is getting enabled as well. I can select the Extreme Plus and Ultra Extreme as well. So let's see what is the maximum FPS we are going to get in this instead of going to the Extreme and Extreme Plus. So now you can see that we are getting 118-119 FPS gameplay is super smooth. The graphics quality is not that great. If you have a look on the ground, you can see all these angular part of the graphics that shows that it is not smooth enough, it's not great enough. Also if you have a look on the rock and everything, not that much detail but the gameplay is super smooth. So as you can see that we can get from 40 FPS to 120 FPS on PUBG Mobile when we are playing it on Z4.6 depending on what is the combination of graphics and frame rate you are selecting. Very smooth. Graphics quality is still good enough to enjoy the game so if you prefer better fps you can go with extreme uh, plus plus or whatever it was or you can go with the extreme to get around 60 fps and then the next one to get 90 fps i guess and talking about the battery percentage it is at 67 percent now so after playing all of these games on the highest possible graphic setting the battery percentage moved from 77 to 67 so the battery performance is good enough it's not that great of course because we are playing all of these games on a larger display on the highest possible graphic setting and considering that the battery performance is still good enough so if you are a gamer you will be happy with the performance of z46 for sure the only thing is that you will have to select between the main screen or the cover screen that at what spec ratio you would like to play your favorite game so that's all for now friends thanks for watching this video if you found it useful then give it a thumbs up share it with your friends subscribe the channel and I will see you guys next time in another video. Have a nice day.